Welcome back to Digital Trends Live. I'm Greg Nibbler, and again, thanks for joining us. Hit that subscribe button, whatever platform you're on, we appreciate it. We get to have some great interviews and talk about some great ideas here on the show, and that includes talking about gaming and the way that gaming is changing and the different things it's being utilized for, including education and how it can help children out. And we're going to be talking about that and more. Joining us right now, we have Jeff Coleman, who's the CEO of Brain Leap Technologies. Jeff, thank you so much for being here with us. Hi, Greg. Thanks for having me. Uh, Jeff, I'm excited to talk about this because I think using gaming for different purposes is, is really interesting. But you, in particular, have a pretty unique thing going there with Brain Leap Technologies. Can you tell us a little bit about what it is that you're doing? Sure. We have gaze-driven attention training games. And by gaze-driven, that means you actually play the game using only your eyes. You control everything that's happening on the screen with just your eyes. And the reason that's important is because the eye movement system and the attention system share neural circuitry. And we leverage that connection to be able to train attention skills at a very foundational level um, because attention is really critical for executive function, for being able to focus on uh, projects for a while, um, being able to even uh, have self-control. That is, those are all really important um, aspects that require attention. That's, um, I mean, there's a lot to unravel even just with that, but to talk about the actual technology. So you, you, you mentioned that you're tracking eye movement. That's uh, pretty incredible in its own right to control a game. What kind of software, what kind of programming are you utilizing to do that? Um, actually, it, that is uh, readily available to anyone who wants to buy it off of Amazon or uh, Microsoft or whatever. It's from a company called Toby. Um, they've been doing eye tracking for years, a lot of it in the labs. Um, also for people who have um, need assistive technology to, um, you know, be able to, they can't control um, a computer with their hands, for, for example. Um, so it's, it's been out there. What really changed was when they came out with a commercial version that um, was relatively inexpensive versus, you know, tens of thousands of dollars for eye trackers in a lab setting. And um, we use that technology to be able to create these games and um, this wasn't the real intention that they had, had for the games, but or for the eye tracker. But um, we learned that it can be used much like a um, a mouse, so that you can control where you're looking. As you can see, this young lady here is controlling uh, that gray dot is where she's looking, and um, she's playing a game called Dr. Mall and Mr. Hyde, um, where you actually use your eyes to um, you know, whack the moles as they pop up. Um, here you so, have to uh, Okay. Oh, no, no, I, I, I appreciate you explaining this because that's that's really interesting, just those games alone, utilizing your eye and the different things you can do. Um, talking about that, you know, I know that we also have something to talk about, which is the big launch uh, with the Attention Arcade. Can you tell us what this is and like how many games and how this platform actually works for everybody? Sure, the Attention Arcade is a suite of six games. Each of them trains different aspects of attention. Um, from, uh, for example, in that Dr. Mall, Mr. Hyde, you're looking at fast and sh accurate shifts of attention, where in the Shroom Digger game, you are um, using your gaze to focus. And for example, here with uh, Butterfly Bob, you're using anticipatory focus, as well as inhibitory control. You want to actually look at something that's moving like the bus, but you're trying to avoid them. And when you have to use your eyes to do that, you have to practice to get the bug there. Um, you have to practice inhibitory control to um, to not look at them as they get close. Um, the suite also includes three assessments, which allows parents to see how their kids are progressing. Because you're, you get better video games just from playing. Most people recognize that. Um, what we want to do is measure the fact that your skills improve and can be applied elsewhere. And so that's what we have the free assessments in there as well. I love this combination of learning and, and actual skill, you know, skill building combined with gaming and just how that's being utilized in this. Um, for everybody out there too, who wants to uh, take part in the platform, who wants to try these out, who wants to use this uh, technology, where should we send them to go? Um, you can visit brainleaptech.com. That's B-R-A-I-N-L-E-A-P is our company, tech.com. 
and you can get the games and the eye tracker. You can rent an eye tracker from us because most people don't have one at home. Um, or you can purchase it, as I mentioned, on Amazon or Microsoft or wherever stores uh, have technology, and um, that allows you to control the games. Well, it's really, really interesting stuff. And Jeff, I want to say thank you very much for joining us to talk about this. And uh, I love seeing technology utilized to help people out, and especially in a situation like this, uh, combining gaming as well. And, and thanks for being here on the show to talk about it. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me.